In our New Testament passage today, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for my sheep. Here in northwest Lochaber, there are plenty of sheep. But we don't look after sheep today in the way that they looked after sheep in Jesus' time. In any case, most of us know very little about caring for sheep. And in the urban parts of Scotland, little might be so close to nothing as to make no difference. So if you were to create a new saying for today that is more easily understood than good shepherd, but gives the same idea, what would it be? What would you suggest? Here are some suggestions that, that I might put forward, but think about that yourself and see what you think. Perhaps the most obvious example are the volunteers who risk their lives to bring peace where there is conflict. The most obvious example to us today is in Ukraine. Two of our local people are soon to be heading to Ukraine for a second time to take winter relief supplies to help the people there get through the winter weather. In the news, we have heard of several people from Britain who have lost their lives bringing help to those who were in danger. Jesus might have said, I am the good peacekeeper. Closer to home, we can think of people working in the health service, helping people who are sick to get well. They risk catching a dangerous infection or disease that might cost them their own lives. In the first year of COVID, several health workers lost their lives to COVID. Jesus might have said, I am the good health worker. For my final example, and there could be many more, I choose our rescue and emergency services. Some of these are paid, like police, ambulance and fire service. The Coast Guard are paid too, but not full time. Perhaps the lifeboat volunteers of the RNLI are the most inspirational because they are volunteers for a national charity instead of a government service. They risk their lives to rescue people from danger when things go wrong. Jesus might have said, I am the good rescue volunteer. Let us be inspired by them and by Jesus.